I'm not going to lie, I just woke up about 40 minutes ago, and you know, the older that you get, the longer it takes for those gears to get to rolling. But I was in a deep sleep last night, had some good sweet dreams. Anyways, I'm completely rejuvenated, we're going to be stepping straight into the cell blocks of 60 days in. Hope you're ready because there's going to be a lot of stuff jumping off in this episode. But if you enjoy this type of content, which is all things lock up, do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. And also do not forget to check out the large playlist portfolio that your host has created. Over 1,300 videos for you to choose from. Don't come no further in my cut. He said, I'm standing in line while he gets extra trays, so I'm guessing he has some kind of situation during uh, chow time. You know, that might not sound like much, but in jail, trust me, it's something big. Because they count the trays, and sometimes they don't send up extras in case the count was wrong. And if someone's getting extra trays before everyone else got their tray, that means someone's going to be left stranded. And that's where the phrase began, sleep late, lose weight. I'm not saying that's a situation with Bull Rider, but he does look like, uh, you know, he's pushing an elderly age, like I said in the beginning. You know, it takes a little bit longer for the gears to roll when you get up. Could have been the lone wolf at the end of the line that just, you know, slept a little too late. I don't know, but it's about to spill over into some wildness. You talking about the trades? Man, what is you saying? Let's go. I'll say the f out my cut. <laughs> Thump's lurking. Mr. Thump here had a situation with one of the participants, Carlos. And Carlos, Bull Rider, and their homeboy Nick pulled him to the side saying, Hey, chill out. Don't be getting in the mix of things like you've been doing. All that rah-rah stuff stops here. And Bull Rider's having this situation with someone, and you can see Thump creeping up the stairs. And yeah, some inmates would take that the wrong way. Like, why are you creeping up here? Man, you gonna come up here and try to jump me? Try to help your homeboy? He might be chilling a lot with the guy that he's arguing with. So, uh, yeah, Bull Rider's keeping his eyes on everything. But you start calling out people, you better be ready to back it up. Talk outside of your mouth, bitch ass. Come on over here. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. He rides go. fools, bro. Please. You think he's scared of thong? Let's go. Look, just in case you don't know, this might be your first time ever watching anything on lockup. If you call anybody a bitch, everyone's going to be expecting you to run up those stairs and handle the situation because of what he just called you. And if you don't, then the inmates are going to look at you like you're just scared of the man. And it could be a bad reputation depending on the situation. You know, uh, there are times where I've seen inmates get called crazy names and, you know, they back down, you know, just like... Uh, a little lion compared to the big lion. That's just the way of life, especially in a lockup, man. It's very animalistic. I'm calling you out right now. What you about? Thump. 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 Any or all you bitches. What's up? Ooh. He said any and all of you bitches can get some of this bull rider shit. Come on with it. Man, I don't know about this, man. But Bull Rider does look like he's built like that. Maybe he has some MMA behind his belt. But I don't know, you know. Even though you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, you know, we still do quite a bit, you know, without even knowing. And Bull Rider definitely looks like someone that would put up a good fight. You see the traps on that guy? Yeah. Uh-oh. He's, he's talking stuff back now, too. To Let Bull me Rider. handle that one. Let me handle that one. All right, so Nick said, let me handle that because Nick's a part of an organization and he already sat thunk down saying don't get in the mix of things. So he's kind of going against what Nick said. And I'm guessing Nick, from what everybody's saying, is the gang leader in the pod, an 18 year old individual. Uh, you know, that's not something that you usually see in jail. But I guess Nick feels like he has to go down there and handle thunk because he's kind of the ringleader of the bunch. Yeah, 
All right, so let's keep in mind, Nick is 18, and the way the, the dude in front of him's acting, he's probably super young as well. But Thump says, boy, I'll beat both y'all's asses. And that could be a serious situation as well, especially if Nick is a part of a, a real organization and has some rank in it. You can't be going against your superiors, you know what I mean? So there could be consequences and repercussions later on down the road for Thump. Ooh, Nick stripped down to the half cut thermal bottom tops, and then he's claimed that Homeboy's not even a part of the organization that he's claiming. Ooh, he called him the end bomb. Thump, what you gonna do, bro? Oh my god, he's barefoot. Stop, stop. Nick is absolutely ready. There's nothing left for him to take off besides those slim cut 90210 teen mom thermals. I swear Nick looks naked out there. Remember what you said to you? Remember those words? Remember those words? Negativity, positivity, remember those words? What the f that right, bro? Man, he's dropping him bombs in the shell. Y'all didn't say that, bro. I will, bro. That's kind of disrespectful, too. Yoking off like that. Hey, Sean. We got another situation here, y'all. Cookies uh, is owed. How many cookies does he owe you? He got first dibs on the. All right, so we're going to wrap it up right there. You see another situation cooking up where an inmate owes someone else some cookies. It actually gets physical, and we'll break down that situation probably on the next run. And ladies, do not fret. We will be jumping into the women's pod as well soon enough. But I really wanted to make this the focal point of the episode. You know, Nick is out there. He might be a part of an organization. It doesn't matter, though. He's dropping the M-bomb, and sooner or later, I'm sure he's going to run into someone that doesn't approve of that, just like me when I first walked in. Like... All my friends, we, we used to drop the end bomb to each other and wasn't in no disrespect. I mean, all colors, Hispanic, white, black, it didn't matter. We were all using it. So when I went to jail, I continued to use it until I got checked by the right individual. And that was the last time I ever said the end bomb in lockup. Literally, the last time. I told a story in the past about this wheelchair guy that, you know, he would talk sideways and no one really do anything about it because he couldn't barely stand you know so he got away with a lot of stuff but one day he dropped the end bomb on someone in the bathroom man they dish ragged his ass all across that floor legs a dragon chair a flying you know so man i dropped a piece of egg from my egg sandwich and i just been sliding rolling around on this shit in my feet i gotta go clean it watch what you say in lockup is all i'm saying anyways today ladies and gentlemen is a special day it is my fifth year anniversary as a youtuber i've been dropping lockup content for y'all damn near 365 days of the year for five of them put in the work ladies and gentlemen and sooner or later you will reap what you sow Till the next time, I salute to every last one of you been supporting me since the beginning and everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.